Boys, today it is absolutely beautiful outside. We're gonna be solving a problem that's been going on with this car for a very long time. While I was doing the camber arm video, literally yesterday, I had an epiphany that maybe this annoying noise that goes wah, 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 wah as I drive, it could be warped brake rotors. So I'm just gonna go ahead and replace both back rotors today and hopefully that fixes it. Anyway, here, I'll give you guys a listen so you can listen to exactly what I'm talking about. Hold on. Hopefully you guys can hear that. It's really annoying, it's really loud. All right, boys, so I picked up the rotors. I actually called up 1.6 Motorsports and they got me some Centric rotors, Centric premium brake rotors. Not drilled, it's not slotted, nothing like that. Just wanna throw these on there a little bit cheaper and I have a feeling that they are much better quality. So we got the rotors. Uh, you guys probably already know how to change brake rotors, whatever. I'm gonna time lapse, it'll be fun for you guys. Well boys, I think we found the problem. Look at this brake pad. This pad is substantially more worn on the inside. There's like a, literally a taper. It's, it hasn't even made contact here. Wow, that's weird. Here's the inside of the old rotor. You can really tell why that pad was wearing the way it was. That sucks, dude. I'm really hoping that I can just throw these new rotors on and that the, the pads will start to wear more evenly. That just sucks it ended up like that. Let's get this new rotor unboxed. That is a pretty nice looking rotor, boys. I believe this black coating is to protect it from rusting, which is pretty nice. And it's on the edges too. Let's get this baby sprayed off and then we'll get it on the car. Boys, both rotors are installed. I'm about to go for the first test drive. We're gonna get on the road and see. I can't, oh, that doesn't sound good. Definitely hear something. I still hear that noise. Damn it, I really thought this would be the fix. I really thought that this was gonna fix it. That's so annoying. I really don't know what to do, boys. It has to be the tread wear then. It has to be the tires wearing them properly. And then I guess I'll give it a week and see if it goes away. Maybe two weeks. That's so frustrating. I guess at this point, the only thing left to do is just wait and see if the alignment fixes it. Yeah, this sucks. I don't know, this one hurts, boys. Boys, 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 JK, JK. I take it back. It might be gone. No, I definitely still hear it. I think my brakes are burning right now. I think my emergency brake cable's too tight. Since the brakes are sticking, I just started taking apart the center console. You guys see right here, this is the handle. If you go down in here, you guys can probably see, yeah, my finger is touching it. Um, I think if you just loosen this bolt, there's a little nut that's on it, then the e-brake will become a little bit looser. So I'm gonna try that and see what happens. Forgot there's two more screws down inside the center console just in front of the shifter. Yeah, I really have to do this. I can just smell brake dust right now. It's pretty bad. All right, so unlike most cars, you can't adjust this cable, like at the cable itself. You have to do it within the assembly. So I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do that right now. There isn't a lot of access. I think if I just loosen this nut, so I'm gonna need a deep well socket. All right, so I'm starting it off by trying a deep well 10. I don't know if it's gonna reach, please God. Frick, man. Got it, baby. Let's see. Oh, shit. I lost the socket. Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking about, boys. All right, so that actually wasn't too hard. Just do exactly what I just showed you. Uh, you just loosen that, that little nut that's on the threads, you know? And uh, you're golden. You're golden, boys. So I'm out on the test drive. I heard a little bit of scraping as I was first driving. Can't tell if they're still rubbing. Like, I'm gonna assume that they're no longer stuck and pressing on the rotors as I drive. I don't think I hear them rubbing anymore like they were. I definitely still hear that one 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 noise, that really annoying sound. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please feel free to subscribe, leave me a like, leave me a dislike, whatever you wanna do. As always, I'm Yanni Knowles. You guys are the best. Have a nice day.